and welcome back. We are going to take um, implicit differentiations today, and we kind of love it because it deals with combination of all the rules that we've talked about, and it's kind of complex a little, but it's a little push to nail it down. So let's see implicit differentiation and what it actually means. So it's also a property of derivative. You have the implicit differentiation. Okay. Assuming we have a circle okay, with the center here, and let's say we have a radius of 5 centimeters, and we also have a point here, let's say point A, which is x, y. Okay, so the equation of this circle will be x squared plus y squared equals 25 from our algebraic expressions and the equation of a circle a circle with a radius 5 centimeters gives us a formula or an equation of x squared plus y squared equals 25 and we are actually finding the derivative of this equation in our first encounter of differentiation, we said differentiation actually gives us a gradient, okay, a gradient equation. So this is a circle. So to find a gradient of this circle, we need to differentiate its equation so that we get a general expression for the word gradient. And we have a point here A, which is x, y. We don't know the coordinate there. So x squared plus y squared will give us 25 as the square of the radius. So let's try using implicit differentiation to find the general gradient for the relation x squared plus y squared plus 25 here. Okay, so let's see how we do that. We have x squared plus y squared equals 25. We are going to differentiate term by term. When we differentiate x squared, we are actually getting 2x plus. And next time we differentiate y, we are going to get 2y times y prime. We are adding this y prime because y is a function on its own. Okay? So when you differentiate y, you add y prime to it. That is to show that you are differentiating in terms of what y. And also when you differentiate a constant 25, we get zero. So we want to make y prime the subject. That is the derivative we are talking about. So we have 2y y prime being equal to negative 2 x so y prime becomes negative 2 x all over 2 y which gives us negative x over y because the twos kind of divide each other now we want to get rid of this y so from our uh, equation we can make y the subject. So making y the subject here, we'll be having x squared moving to that side to become negative. So y squared will be equal to 25 minus x squared. We want to get rid of the square here. So y is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared. So anywhere we see y, we can place square root of 25 minus x squared there. So coming back to the y prime, we are having negative x all over square root of 
25 minus x squared as a derivative. So if you want to find the gradient of this equation, all that you need is to take the negative value of x all divided by square root of 25 minus x squared. So that is the final derivative you want to find. So that's what happens for derivative when we are talking about implicit differentiation. This is just an easy aspect of it. Okay, so with this we want to talk about higher forms of derivatives. During all our lessons, we're talking about pair derivative, pair derivative, pair derivatives. We can also find the second derivative, the third derivative, and so on and so forth. So let's see how we do that. And higher form of what? Derivative. Assuming that we're given this function y plus x to the power 6. Find the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative. What are you going to do? Simply when we find the third derivative, we have y prime to be 6x to the power 5. Okay? So taking the second derivative, that is y double prime. Now we take this as our function, then we differentiate this. So we are going to kind of get 6 separated 5x to the power 4. Then we simplify. 5 by 6 gives us 30 and x to the power 4. Also, y to the third prime, that is the third derivative. We differentiate the second derivative, which is we separate the 30 and we differentiate x to the power 4, which is 4x to the power 3. So we can simplify this 4 by 3 is actually 4 by 0 is 0, so we have 120x cubed to the third power. So if you want to get the fourth derivative, you differentiate the third derivative in that order. So this is what we call the higher forms of what derivatives. Okay. So it's kind of simple there. Implicit differentiation and higher forms of differentiations. Now this brings us to the end of differentiating functions that are linear, quadratic, and the rest. In our next tutorial, we'll be talking about transcendental functions, that's the sine, cosine, the tangent, and what, other circular functions, and their derivatives, which we'll meet again. Goodbye.